Hello and welcome back, I'm Faintly Saintly, and this is Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. And this one has been out for a little while in, in demo form, but a friend of mine has recently just sent this through to me and said, hey, this uh, sort of reminds me a bit of Bellatro, that sort of vein of game, so I thought, yeah, I'll probably check it out. So essentially, uh, instead of poker, it's more blackjack, and um, you build decks of cards from all varieties of different sources, which you'll soon see. Uh, I don't really know what's going on. Clubs deal extra damage, hearts heal, spades grant you shields, diamonds grant you chips, and this is... who knows. Let's start right with the basic. Okay, you approach the old tavern. It reeks of ale and addiction. You're going to have to master the strange version of blackjack they play here. Welcome back. Have had a drink or a round of cards. Okay. Dance at 17. After both players have stood, damage is dealt according to the difference between the two scores. Okay. Chips are gained by winning encounters and are spent during events. Fair enough. Well, let's hit. I'm drawing a 4, he's drawing a 10. 13. I've busted. Oh, so is he. <laughs> he could have just sat there, but that's fine. 15. Oh, jeez, he's already won. Yep. What happens now? Okay, he does damage to me. Not having the best... Well, oh, I'll stand here because he's busted. They're not trying the best hands. You beat me. Pick a card as your reward. They're on the house after every game of cards. Transit card. <laughs> on click, choose a card from your draw pile to put into your, into your opponent's draw pile. Adds to your hand. On discard, put a negative 11 of diamonds. A negative 11 of diamonds? On first play this encounter, choose the value from 1 to 11 for the blank card to take for the rest of this encounter. Sure. If you're going to meet the manager, could you please put in a good word for me? I'll give you one of these chips to help you. During encounters, the effect of the chosen chip will always be available. Okay, so these are like trinkets or artifacts in other roguelike type games. On stand, if you have a score of at least 17, gain one advantage. On click, lose 10 chips and gain one advantage. I don't know what advantage is. A gambler stumbles into you, their eyes red from exhaustion. Do you have the time? They mumble as you pass by. Eight, you reply. On which day? Choose where to go next. We can play against the bard or against the drunk. Pick the drunk. I've had a few, but I'm always up for a game. Ace. Hmm. Down there. Sixteen. Oh, I have to hit, don't I? It's gonna beat me regardless. Uh, I suppose I could have stood and the, this is the difference between the two scores, so I could have actually mitigated some of that damage. Keep that in mind. 12, don't give me a 10. Sorry? Twenty-one out of twenty. What have I missed? Reduced. Sorry, he's reduced my maximum to twenty. So twenty-one. Uh, okay. Oh, this guy stands at thirteen. I need to pay attention to that as well. well I won that one. Why? <laughs> Something's happened. Ah, oh, conceal a value. Well, I don't really want to steal an eleven because my maximum is twenty now. Stand on nineteen. Oh, his max is twenty-two. You can see why well, this is a uh, comparisons to Bellatro, where it's just completely bending the rules of the game. 15, oh Jesus. What can I do there? Oh, I don't know what I could have done. I could have actually just stood and prevented most of that damage. This is going well. 
14 out of 20. Ugh. I need to start mitigating some damage. Alright, stand. And it's a draw. Stand on 18. This is a... I wouldn't think that would make too much of a difference, but it's actually... Terrible. What is that? He's got a rules card or something. I didn't even catch what that did. Somehow. Down there. I'm gonna have to just chip away at him slowly. I have to stand there, I suppose. He busted, so that does the full damage, right? There we go. Right, that's um painful. Valentine's card. On play, heal both plays 14 HP. On discard burns. Blood donor card. On play locks. While in play, whenever you play a card worth at least one heart, remove one from its value for the rest of the encounter and heal one. I'm going to get the Valentine's card. It heals both of us, but I think it'll benefit me more than them. I can have a drink or I can go to the counterfeit. I'm going to have a drink. It's on the house. Remove a card, take five damage. Pay 40 chips to remove a card. Add loyalty card. Take 10 damage. Oh, jeez. I don't really want to take any damage. I don't really want to remove a card either. Unfortunate that the town folk call these gambles degenerates. You know the truth. They are victims of an evil system that preys on their natural impulses beating their crippling addiction and converting it to profit. Well, yeah, can't argue with that. A gambler or a bard? I feel like he's going to be more challenging because he's an actual gambler. He stands at 17. Okay, my total's back to 21. That's helpful. Give me that one. i stand on that. Might stand on that as well. What was that? Lucky stars. Scratch card. On play, choose to reveal one, two, or three numbers, each randomly ranging from one to nine. Add the total of the revealed numbers to this card's value and give the player that many chips. Does that mean I'm going to earn more chips by beating him now? Uh, he's not going to stand. He's not at 17. I'm going to stand and hope he busts. He didn't bust. Okay, we both healed. 14. <laughs> and that's actually worth 14 as well. Uh, I have to hope he busts again. There you go. That was a worthwhile investment, actually. 18, I'll stand. What does this do again? You have a st score of at least 17, game one advantage. Here we go. Advantage is gained from unique chips and is spent to play cards from hand or to activate on-click effects. Gotcha. That's an easy win there. What is this? A negative two of hearts. While in play, reduces the number of hearts. The honor winning blackjack effect of hearts cannot be reduced below zero. I don't understand. A 21 of diamonds. <laughs> sure, why not? This place is host to all sorts of visitors, but it seems like there are more people entering than actually here. Where are they all? Let's stay a night, or I can find the counterfeiter. Let's go there. I want to modify a card. This shady character is offering you his services. Each increase or decrease costs 45 chips. Standard non-face card and permanently increases value by one or decrease by one. Is this helpful? I suppose. Turn the 9 into a 10, I guess. I don't know what else to do. 
I can stay a night or the night of Cardonia. Yeah, let's go. They're not going to take me alive. Oh, that's a that amuse reference. Knights of Sardonia. He's got a Joker. Choose a card from your discard pile and copy its value and suit. Well, that's not going to help you. I just got healed and now I'm on 18. That's helpful. What on earth is that? There it is again. Any vascular exercise on play, take two damage, gain five shield. When damage is taken, shields are damaged before health. Bloody hell. Alright. That is fine. Shield doesn't go away either. Good to know. Um <laughs> got twenty one. <laughs> That'll do it. How can I win? Good question. I'm gonna get another Valentine's card. But why not? It's a poker player, or I can shop four cards. I'm gonna go to the shop. Would you like to add any of these to your deck? Select the cards to purchase. 95 chips each. E card. On play, choose a card from the opponent play pile to unlock it if it is locked, and lock it if it is unlocked. On play, choose a card in your opponent's play pile to mark with a yellow card, and then put a red card into your draw pile. There's the scratch card, library card. On play, locks. Choose, from, choose a card from your opponent's draw pile and put it in your draw pile. Every time that card is discarded, you lose five chips. Okay, I think I'm going to go the key card. So I can lock out a good card for him, maybe. The opponent, that is. No, I play the janitor. Who, me? Well, I guess my break is about to start. He stands at 17, so will I. Ah, he's got the key card as well. He's locked that. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to stand there anyway. Lock means... <laughs> Lock means it just stays there. But I'm just, I've just got 21 now. Okay. Oh, he's unlocked it now. Oh, good while it lasted. Okay, nice heal. Uh, let me get a 7, please. Stand. That's how many bust, but that's okay. Damn. I'll do it again, I think. He's locked the queen. That's not bad, though. Oh. Bad when that happens. Very bad when that happens. Back to full health. Goodness. This is getting chaotic. I guess I'll lock the five. It's locking the ten. Crap. Oh, there we go. He's always got a five there. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad for him. Slowly whittling away his health. Ooh. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, that hurts. He's locked me on 16. Dear Lord. What do I do? I hope he just busts. Bloody hell. Terminate the tower. 
on play, so like one of four unique cards to put into play. That's not to be confused with the uh, Slay the Spire, I guess. Negative four. Reduces the number of diamonds. I don't understand what that does. I get Terminate the Tower. Tarot reading. Flip the cards to uncover your fortune. The journey of completeness. The end, end of a cycle. The world. On play. Locks. On stand. Put a random tarot card into your draw pile. Wheel of Fortune. On play. Spin the Wheel of Fortune and receive a gift. The Tower. Locks the first card in play for both players. Near the Wheel of Fortune. The Manager. Hello again. I hope everyone's looking after you tonight. Sure, I've got time for a game. Do I know you, sir? Ugh, 13. Okay, I've got 8. How's that sound? Seven. Ace up your sleeve. On play, put an ace of a random suit into your hand. He's a cheater. I see how it is. Oh, God, they've actually got Slay the Spire cards in this. <laughs> and they all do what they... <laughs> like an equivalent of what they did in that game. Ah, sweep the leg sets the opponent's boss limit to 20 and mine to 22. That's what happened. I'm gonna lock. Oh, he's 8, I guess. Not very helpful, but. Okay, we're both healed now. That's good. Full of fortune. Business card on play, choose a card in your opponent's aisle to swap this card with. So he's just stolen my king. Lovely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, stand. That's better. Don't stop stealing my cards, would you, mate? Jeez. Cop that one damage. Again. So he's on negative three. That's how that works. over with. Who is in charge? I've never met them, but I know they're on another floor. Yeah, you can borrow my elevator keychain. Use a card to add to your deck. High of spades. On play, set the value of this card to three. On stand, if you're below your bust limit, increase the value of this card by one. <laughs> okay. Select the next floor. We've done the tavern, now we go to the lounge or the basement. Or the lounge. After using the manager's elevator key card to go up one floor, you arrive at an inviting lounge. You brace yourself as you step in, clutching your hastily assembled blackjack deck. Luck pusher, I'll beat you without even looking. Stands at 18. Wheel of Fortune. Deals 5 damage, that's handy. Got the pie of space. On play, select a card that is in play and discard it without enacting its on discard effect. Fair enough. Ah, he's done the Slay the Spire thing to me. Oh, that's not good. In play, set card value to a random value from 6 to 10. On click, select, set the card value to a random value from 1 to 5. Okay, I'm probably going to bust here, aren't I? I oh, know. 
Guess I'll lock that. Don't know how that helps. Oh, jeez. 35. <laughs> oh, I think I'm in trouble here. That's right, I'll just heal everybody. That was lucky. 10. 5. Oh, he's got one of those as well. But he's busted, so I'll stand. Busted again. stand on 22 I'm gonna win. Makes total sense. It's over with. Once again I pushed my luck too far. Uh, I think I'll go the 11. Here the guests prefer cocktails to ale but make no mistake they're still drinking and gambling their problems away. Teacher or wizard? Let me gather my magic cards. Oh, don't tell me they've got magic the gathering in here as well. Oh, I've got to go sweep the leg again. Is that a memory card? <laughs> On play one, choose another card from a deck and put a copy into your draw pile. On play two plus, put a copy of the chosen card in your draw pile. Card remembered. One of nothings. Cool. One of nothing, so there's no effect. 13. I don't know. <laughs> That's going to be hard to beat. Stand. Is he literally just got ones and twos in there? At least there seems to be a limit on how many he can draw. It's gonna be a very slow, slow battle. But as soon as I draw that Valentine's Day card, it's gonna just start again. There it is. All right, back to the start we go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> but we'll have to beat him just one damage at a time, do I? That's... come on. What is this? <laughs> Give me a 10. Oh, yeah. I have to stand because he's going to meet that easily. And if I bust, he will just destroy me. that there that does nothing. So what does that memory card do? Because that just do anything keep it a minute. I'm gonna do a scratch card. I can draw that a few times that might that rack up some damage for me. Okay I healed five that's helpful. Stand on 17. Just gonna keep drawing cards. Is there a limit? On play one, choose another card from your deck and put a copy into draw pile. On play two plus, put a copy of the chosen card. I don't understand how that gives him a boost. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
Right. Beat that, you dog. Yeah, three damage. <laughs> Here we go, scratch. Oh, look out. Hey, it didn't do what it said. That didn't do five damage, it's meant to. Did it? God. I don't know what I need to do to beat this guy, but I just don't think I have what I need. I still don't understand how that works. Oh, it's worth eight. I see now. Okay. Right. To be my only hope. card on play choose to set either your bus limit or your opponent's bus limit to the 20 or 22 for the rest of the encounter sure three card monty a blackjack against teacher i'll just see what this does the dealer is smirking as they deal out three cards i, I don't actually know what this is Click lose 21 chips, burn your most recently played card, and this card. On click, open the box, randomly selecting a suit for this card and setting this card's value to 10. If this box is already open, close the box, setting this card's value to 0. I don't know. Uh, I'll play. Watch carefully. Twenty-one chips. Burn your most recently played card and this card. I just don't understand. Both for sleeper or coin flip. All games of chance. Which is your favourite card? Oh, this is my favourite card. Heads get two copies. Tails permanently remove it. Okay, that's a shame. I'm glad they didn't backfire and give me two copies of it. Memory test. Oh no. King of Spades, negative six. Jack of Diamonds, Lucky Stars. Choose to reveal one, two, or three numbers each, randomly ranging from one to nine. Add the total of the revealed numbers to this card's value and give the player that many chips, I guess. Alright. That game might definitely improve my deck. Did it improve yours? God, no. Choose whose bus limit to modify. I'm going to 22, buddy. Okay, healing, that's helpful. Please, buddy, ace up his sleeve again. I don't want to... No, I don't want to lock any of those. 
don't have a choice. Negative six. Damn. Oh, that's painful. At least it doesn't give him a new ace every time. That's okay. numbers to reveal. One, three. Oh, I see. That's the value as well. Okay, well, I'm going to stand. Alright, let's both heal again. Got shield? Rude. I'll knock that. Buster, but I'm on negative six. That'll do. Get that shield away. Uh, I'm 22. He's already 20, so nothing changes. Uh, oh, okay. Need to hit. Fine. Maybe we need to invest in some shields. 14. Oh, damn it. Thank God for that. 10. 17, that'll do. what happens. Increase damage of all your scratch cards by two, but it's only applied to itself, but that's okay. I won't, I won't judge them too much for getting a Slay the Spire card wrong in a Blackjack game. Bad as the wizard. Not quite, but nearly. Thank God for that. Get out of here. Jesus. On play, permanently increase this card's value by one. Once its permanent value reaches 21, its on play effect becomes burn this card, put five booster packs in your hand. Get a king, I think. Keep it simple. Right. Card shark sounds like a bad idea, right? So I say go for it. I won't buy it unless you try something fishy. Stands at 17, 40 health. Half of diamonds. On play, set the value of this card to zero. On stand, if you're below your bus limit, increase the value by one. Okay. I'm gonna stand on 16, because that's a cool thing to do. Jack. Ah. Oh. Hate being in this position. Most of my cards will kill me. I think that's the problem.
Okay. That just lined paper. A cue card. On play, choose a card from your play or discard pile to put at the bottom of your draw pile. Okay. I don't even know what happened then. Blank card. Give me a 10, will you? I. I'm going to lock, lock a 5 in there just to stuff him up. And I'm going to stand right there. I had shields. God damn it. Great. One, please. Give me a ten. Oh, give me a nine. Ugh. Bust. Thank God. Sweep <laughs> the leg. Let's go. Up to that shark man. Twenty-one. That'll loot. Healing. Thank you. Uh, that's fine. God oh, damn it! I busted myself by healing for fourteen, and then immediately took twenty something. Uh, scratch. Standing there, standing there. Uh, give me two. Oh, that's... Oh, I increased my limit. Okay. Okay. We got this. Maybe. Don't really want to do any of this. If I do that, he'll just stand on 16 every single time. Um... Better or worse? Oh, come on. <laughs> Just want to go home. Fifteen. Go bust, man. Go bust. There we go. See you later. Yeah, you are washed up. Choose a card. What is that? Magic trick card. On play, choose to set this card to either a Queen of Hearts or a Seven of Clubs. I like it. Where to go next? Tough choice. I'm gonna go the Paparazza. The only thing I have left to bet with is this pass to the VIP area. Sounds like progression. Busted. Thank you for the heals. Much appreciated. And I'm gonna go the queen. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, okay, that's locked now, I guess. A loot. Give me a ten. Give me a. Smack in the head. Sweep the leg. He still might terminate the tower card. You monster. That sucks. <laughs> Actually, that sucks. Give me three. No, oh, don't hit. Negative six. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm not actually terrible at blackjack. You might not know it from watching this. But m my blackjack decks generally don't have tarot cards and play the spire cards in them. <laughs> so maybe they should. Maybe they should. Maybe you're missing out. Uh, that won't make any difference. I want to lock a three just to be annoying. I'm gonna bust at 28 and then be nearly dead, I think. Oh, he stole my sweep the leg. You're a monster, where does it end? Oh, it ends here. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Jeez. Three. Oh, I can't even just win a little one. No, 
SD card. On play, take the top card from your draw pile and add it to your hand, then lock this card. Unlocks when the drawn card is played from the hand. Okay, got 22. <laughs> That's me done. The house always wins. Better luck next time. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. This is Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. Uh, an interesting take on the Blackjack game, if you're interested in that kind of thing. has all the uh, usual deck building goodies and a lot of good uh, references and things to other card games around as well. So I'll leave a link to the store page on that one if you want to have a look at the demo. And I think the full game is set to release sometime this year, so keep an eye on that. If you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And if you have any game suggestions or feedback, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get back to every single one of you. So thank you, and I will see you next time.